acceptance stress driven development in acceptance stress driven development um, you define acceptance criteria and test cases during the creation of user stories so whenever the user stories are being created defining of the acceptance criteria and the test cases it is done during that definition now let's see what acceptance test driven development approach is so first in acceptance test driven development whole development team and business stakeholders are involved so like in test driven development approach there was if you're working in an agile project there will be testing team developers um, involved to define those test cases or unit test cases however in acceptance test driven development it's the responsibility of the whole team along with the business stakeholders to define the um, the test cases or the acceptance criteria so the whole team involvement is required in acceptance test driven development approach now first thing that is done is it is discussed what is required by the end user so once there are stakeholders and other product owners it is discussed that what is required by the end user and then user stories are created with those acceptance criteria so there will be a question uh, a lot of questions in um, while defining those user stories which will basically uh, define what exactly is required by the end user or the customer and those those requirements are defined as the acceptance criteria from the in in the user stories then the developer writes first writes test for those acceptance criteria uh, now in acceptance test driven development approach during that definition of the story itself so developer and tester or the whole team uh, defines or writes the test cases for the acceptance criteria so once the uh, test cases are written and then developer writes the code to make that particular test case pass so uh, that once the test case is defined acceptance criteria is defined test case is defined from that acceptance criteria and then developer um, writes the test for that acceptance criteria or for the test cases defined for that particular acceptance criteria and then developer writes the code to make those test cases pass and until the test until all the test cases defined for the acceptance criteria pass the developer refactors the code until the last test case is passed so this is the overall uh, test driven develop or uh, acceptance test driven development approach now what are the benefits of having acceptance test driven development so in test driven development approach we have seen that there were uh, many benefits uh, acceptance test driven development is built on top of test driven development which uh, which includes business stakeholders and uh, end customer perspective in the picture as well uh, rather than just having the unit test cases being um, documented and automated like in test driven development so the benefits of acceptance test driven development are more as compared to the test driven development and the benefits are that acceptance criteria and test cases are defined during each uh, during story creation so that's the first benefit that when you're creating the user story you have the acceptance acceptance criteria already defined and test cases already defined which have been agreed by the whole team in the agile development uh, approach then acceptance criteria helps testers to easily identify the testing required now once you have acceptance criteria defined then this acceptance criteria uh, helps the testers what test cases need to be um, defined for each of those acceptance criteria and that helps the testing team to identify those test cases from the acceptance criteria then it helps developers to write accurate unit tests which focuses on business needs so once the testers know the acceptance criteria they define the testing required they define their test cases and then they also help the developers to identify the right set of unit test cases based on the business needs so they, it's a it's a collaborative effort in uh, agile development methodology so it's a tester uh, works closely with developers to define the unit test against those 
acceptance criteria. Then acceptance test driven development um, quickly determines if acceptance criteria has been met or not. So once the developer is using those test cases, they are based on the acceptance test uh, acceptance criteria defined in the user stories. He also looks at the test cases defined by the tester. Um, the functional test cases and he tries to make sure that uh, that those particular test cases or the acceptance criteria is met by the code that is developing and because of this you can easily determine whether the acceptance criteria has been met or not then in acceptance test driven development you have less defects which means that entire code is written or driven by the acceptance criteria or the acceptance or the test cases defined from those acceptance criteria, which reduces the number of defects in the end product. So these are some of the benefits of acceptance test driven development approach. Thank you.